Hey yo, what's up guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be introducing you and showing you how to start out on Paju, which is Defaultio's new game. You may have heard of it from YouTube channels such as Code Primate, Bunny Films, or Team View, etc. Now this game is currently in alpha testing, so the game currently costs 1000 Robux, which not everyone can afford, but if you like playing with YouTubers, Defaultio, or maybe even getting exclusive alpha items, Buying this game right now is a pretty good investment for you. If it seems like something you would like to play, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can buy and play the game. Now that that's out of the way, there's a couple of things I'll discuss with you. So Perju is based on a grid system comprised of 25 squares, or a 5x5 five five area. These squares are called cells, and each cell is its own game and its own server. And these lines are called cell borders, so that they look like this in game, and when you cross through them, it will fade to white, and it will teleport you to to a different cell. This helps greatly in reducing lag since the cells are pretty big. Now I would highly recommend being in the Projute Discord because that way you can get access to the wiki, maps, and report bugs to Defaultio and give your ideas for the game. So I'll leave a link in the description to that Discord as well as my Discord if you want to go join it. Now without further ado, this is how you start out in Projute. Now once you first join in, you should see that there is a game called 0.9. It may change in the future, but just go to the top world and then press join game. Now it should go to you in a crate and this is where you can customize your character. Once you've customized it to your liking, you're just going to want to press OK. And then it should go to a cutscene of you popping out of a barrel. And then you're going to want to go to the island in front of you, and then you're going to want to scan the island for any discarded items. A lot of people like to throw their items on the floor once they're done using them, and you can just pick them up off the floor. The only tools you really need right now are an axe and a saw, but picking other ones up could help you in the future. Now you're just going to want to start throwing barrels by picking them up first of all, and then walking, and then pressing Q. If you don't walk, while you're dropping it, it will just drop, so you have to walk while dropping it and it will throw it. Then you're just going to want to do this until you get 16 kip, and then you're going to want to get a backpack from this shop right here. And then you can start chopping down trees, and if you haven't found an axe and a saw yet, you can just go buy them from this shop right here called Goodwood Goods. And then you're just going to want to go over to the poplar trees. They're the ones that are most common, and they're a little bit darker than birch with darker leaves as well. Now I'm assuming that you already know how to use an axe from Lumber Tycoon. But unlike Lumber Tycoon, you don't bring the wood to your base, but rather use your saw on it. So what you have to do is cut your wood into pieces, and then once they're cut into pieces, you can hold out your saw. And if your wood turns green when hovering over it with your saw, then you can click and it'll convert it into a plank. But if it doesn't turn green, it should be pretty self-explanatory, with yellow meaning that it's just barely too big, whereas red meaning it's way too big, and orange is just in between. And then if it turns gray, then that means it's too small. Once you're ready to sell your planks, you can just hold them out and talk to the guy at Goodwood Goods, and he will buy them from you. Now you're just going to want to do this until you have at least 200 kip. Now by the way, you can do this parkour right here, and it will give you 10 kip. At least I'm pretty sure it might have changed since then. Then you can come over to this guy that is selling a tiny boat and you're going to want to buy one from him. Then the boat should appear right around here and then you're going to want to use your compass to figure out which way is south and you're going to want to go directly south. And higher graphics are pretty recommended for this game so you can see where you're going. And then you're just going to want to go south until you find a lighthouse. Now you might have noticed these white lines that appear and that's actually the wind which means if the wind is going in the direction that you're going on your boat, your boat will actually speed up which means there is actually some pretty cool boat mechanics. Now you can use that kip to buy a metal pickaxe and a chisel, and now you can cut up stones. Now you're going to want to come over to one of these wayposts right here and sign up for one, and this will help you navigate around. So as you can see, there's a little dot on the compass, and that'll just show you where that waypost is always. 
Now just head off in one direction and you should eventually find an island. There is a pretty nice island directly west of Big Booty Island, so I like to go there. But be careful though, some stones you can't chisel with the type of chisel you have right now. And then you can go find some stone from other islands. Now you're going to want to look out for this lighter stone, which is called slate, and you should find some tin in it. And the way that ores work is when you cut a rock in half, there's a chance that it will drop the ore so the more you cut it the more you have a chance that you'll get the metal but anyways the stone mechanics are basically the same as the tree mechanics where if you hold out your chisel it will turn a certain color and depending on which color it is means you're okay to chop it in half or chisel it but this is basically the best way to get money in this game and it only gets better and better the better tools you have now a quick side note is that a lot of people like to drop their tin around their bases so you can pick them up they don't really need it if they're dropping it around so you can just pick them up because tin does sell for a lot but if you do collect the tin you're going to have to get some wood to go along with it so you can smelt it in the furnace but anyways you're just going to want to do this until your backpack is full now using the waypost, you can just make your way back to big booty island now you can just add all of your tin into the furnace and then open the doors right here and then you can put your wood in and start smelting it. While you're waiting, you can as well hold out your stone and then sell it to Camel. And then once your tin is done smelting, you can pick it all up and then sell it to Camel as well. And then you can repeat this process until you have around about a thousand kip or more. Now what you want to do is head directly east, one cell over, and just sail until you find an island with a big gramophone on it. And that is called Adventure Island. Now once again, you can sign up for this waypost right here, right next to Adventure Island. And now you're going to want to go inside, not this shop, because they sell their backpacks for 20 kip more, but you're going to want to go to the other shop over here, and then buy the backpack for 50 kip. Now if you like, you can go directly east, one cell over, and then you can look for an island with a big house on it. That's actually the Aqua Island, which I own, as well as Brit from Brit and Butter Vids. Now if you're in the Aqua Discord, you can ask me if you can buy something, and I'll try to sell you some good tools for pretty cheap. Now if I can't get on, you can just find someone else that is willing to sell you something. And if you're in the Projute Discord, you can ask in trading chat. Now the best tools are iron and ebony tools. So you might be able to find someone that's willing to sell you some tools with iron. And that's all you really need. And you can use this chart right here on screen right now to be able to identify which kinds of woods are faster. And you can also find this chart on the Projute Discord. And by the way, this guy right here can buy stone, metals, and wood, but he doesn't buy them for as much. And if you want to make your own tools, there's blueprints at Big Booty Island. And how you do this is you first of all press the apply button right here on the blueprint book. And then for the chisel, you have to apply it to a workbench right here in the blueprint shop. And for the, all the rest of the tools, you can apply it, the blueprint to the anvil, which is right here in Camel's shop. And for the tools, you should make a better saw and chisel first because you don't want to be in that situation where you have cut your wood or stone all up into nice pieces and then find that your chisel can't cut it. I've been there and it's not very fun. And the best place to find iron and copper is probably the deserts. And if you want to go find one, once again there will be a link in the description to a map which will help guide you. And if you ever need any help or questions, you can either comment down in the comment section below, ask someone on the discord, or ask someone that's in the game with you. But yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you did, then please like it, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video once it's out.